hey, it's been a while, I hope you're still up for a short tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to make this simple setup, because I think there is a couple of tricks that you may find useful. Add a circle saw, plug it into a transform, set the uniform scale to 0.01, connect it to a gel comp, do the usual stuff with the camera, a constant mat, apply it to the gel, and a render top. We've got one teeny tiny dot, now that's something. And a GLSL top. Use the VUV.ST to output a UV map. Hide the dots, go to common settings and set the pixel format to 32-bit float. Plug it into a null, go to channel, enable instancing. Use the null as a translate operator with R and G channels as X and Y. Th that's agreed, but here is the problem. We've only got positive values for X and Y. That can be solved with a level top, let's insert one right here. Go to range settings and simply set the outload to minus one, yeah, that, that's it. Set the GLSL resolution to 50 by 50 so that we could actually see the grid. Now let's deal with the feedback loop. Add a feedback top, connect it to this null and drag the null onto the feedback. We need something to affect these coordinates, so let's go for a noise top. Copy the GLSL resolution and paste it as a reference to the noise. Make it 32-bit float, connect the noise into a slope, add a composite top to our feedback, connect the slope, and connect the composite into this now. Change the operation to add, now add a keyboard and chop so that we could easily reset our feedback loop. There is a handful of issues here, let's fix them. First of all, we're gonna change our slope settings. Set the zero point to um, zero. Better now, but only affects one axis. That's because by default, slope outputs in the red and blue. Change the green to vertical luminance and set the blue to zero. Once you've reset the feedback, these circles fly all over the place and they never go back. We need another thing here. Well, we need a mate top. Plug the level into the second input of the mate top. What MADE does, it composes two images from the first and the second input based on the mask that you provide to the third one. It can be anything as simple as a ramp top or a movie file in, but depends on what you want. So, we need a mask, add a ramp, copy paste resolution, connect the ramp into the third input of the MADE and change the MADE channel to red. Let's add some movement. Go to the ramp settings and set the phase to appstime.seconds multiplied by 0.2. It's way too intense. Dial down the strength of the slope top to something like 0.04. Now, if you look here, the grid actually never comes back in perfect order. The easy way to fix this would be to use our mate top as a translate operator before it gets affected by noise. And that's it! So here we are resetting our feedback loop without a hard reset and only where we want it to be reset, if it makes sense. You can change the ramp type to get different masks, you can use another noise as a mask, you can use a circle and control its position with a mouse in chop for interactivity, you can place it over a black background, you can increase the noise period and see how that will play out yourself. There is an infinite number of ways to make this look better, just go experiment. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like this tutorial, you can also support me on Patreon, I have more content there. And thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.